By now, we all know the tragic story of the Parkland, Florida shooting. A 19-year-old who had purchased multiple weapons walked into his high school that he was expelled from and shot and killed 17 students and teachers. And even though these shootings are happening more and more frequently, I refuse to get used to it. I also refuse to accept the idea that nothing can be done. And look, my first instinct, I'm gonna be honest, my first instinct is to talk about limiting guns. But, but I'm an idiot, I get it, you know? Yeah, in my dumb mind, I keep thinking that gun violence is somehow related to guns. <laughs> I haven't quite figured it out yet. But the one thing I am sure about is that a lot of people in America think that after a shooting, that is not the time to talk about guns. Yeah, apparently it's way too soon. You see, there needs to be a waiting period before you can just get a gun conversation going. <laughs> it's a lot more responsible. And now, if, if you told someone that they had to solve gun violence, but they couldn't talk about guns, most people would be like, well, then there's nothing I can do. But most people are not Fox News. Because over the last few days, <laughs> Fox showed us that once you remove the obvious solution, you have no choice but to get creative. We need to protect kids, and that means we've got to have metal detectors, we've got to have experienced cops, I don't care if they're retired or they're still cops working in the schools, and we've got to be able to have perimeter controls. Well, wait, 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 is she still speaking about schools? Because it sounds like she, she wants to build a compound in The Walking Dead. <laughs> protect the kids, build a perimeter around the wall, I need them dead now! So her idea is, uh, don't touch guns, just turn the school into a fortress. Yeah. And hey, why, why stop with cops and perimeter controls? Why not post snipers on the roof? Yeah. Dig a moat, fill it with gun-eating sharks. Yeah. <laughs> Stick the heads of other school shooters on spikes outside the school <laughs> to deter another attack. But I don't know, that, that seems like a crazy idea. You can't have a school with snipers and armed guards patrolling the perimeter. No, apparently, we need those guns in the classroom. We should start thinking about arming teachers. A minimum of six to eight teachers and administrators who are trained in the use of firearms. It's an issue of not enough superior firepower to stop these killers. So now you want teachers to have guns. Like, my teacher didn't even know who was talking in class. <laughs> now you want to trust them to shoot the right kid? <laughs> Think about it. How many times did your teacher yell at the kid next to the kid who was talking? <laughs> huh? Like, one time, my teacher tried to hit one of the kids with a blackboard eraser, missed completely, and hit the kid next to him. You want to give those people guns? <laughs> These ideas are so absurd. It's like a game show host walked into Fox News and just said, uh, the next category is worst ways to solve gun violence. Go! <laughs> like, it might be kind of fun to live in their world, you know, when you think about it. Like, it's a world free of embarrassment. No idea is too ridiculous. Because I've, I've got tons of those ideas. In fact, I'll, I'll give you one right now. All right, so look. The problem is school shootings, right? So, let's just get rid of the schools. Yeah. <laughs> stick with me, stick with me, people. You can't school shoot without a school. <laughs> Everyone gets homeschooled, that way no one can shoot their friends because homeschooled kids don't have any friends. Problem solved. <laughs> Actually, uh... That was kind of fun, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, Fox News, it's your turn again. Okay. Self-defense classes are right. the best okay. thing for a kid. So it's time that we actually think about this rationally and go, how do you improve upon this? Well, you train them. Learning combat, learning hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hand-to-hand -hand combat? Does this guy know what a gun is? <laughs> you see, it's only hand-to-hand -hand if both people agree to use their hands. Hand-to-hand -hand combat will only help you if the other person isn't armed or if their weapon of choice is a wooden board. <laughs> He's like, relax, everyone. I've trained for this very specific moment. Come here. Hiya! <laughs> These ideas are just priceless, man. Oh, that gives me another one. All right, I got it. <laughs> I got a few complaints about my homeschooling idea, so scratch that. We keep the schools and equip them with huge super magnets, right? <laughs> then, when a shooting starts, the teacher presses a button and the magnet grabs everything metallic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll lose a few kids with braces, but... <laughs> That's the price of freedom. 